previously on Star. I'm like, are you a six foot one Japanese cyber whore named Saki? She's like, no. I'm a five foot four American yoga teacher named Shanti. I'm sorry you gained a little fat there. Actually, it's kind of great that I gained on account of all the radiation and chemotherapy I've been going through. And when are you gonna give up that little gay charade? Get married and make us grandfathers. Maybe when you give up the charade of being a father. I do not have an eating disorder, sir. I have been fighting a stomach flu for some time now. You're off the force indefinitely. I have my appointment for my gastric bypass surgery in two days. How many times have you blown off your surgery? 20, 30, you're a fat pussy and you'll never do it. Are you making me breakfast? No, I'm making me some more of your amazing fake vegan Nemo. Is today gonna be your first day of being vegan? Totally. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> now, eating this way, I'm gonna lose a ton of weight, right? You don't need to, but if you did, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Got it, water boy, bastard. So you feel good about killing your son in a past life? Well, up until about three seconds ago, it was his present life. But luckily, since I want kids sooner than later, I put him out of his misery and expedited the process of getting him out of that disgusting body into a, a new, much more sexy model. Hopefully one with my eyes and your smile. It's not funny. It's a sentient being, no different than you or me, or a horse, or a dog. Okay, I'm totally down with loving animals, really. But a water bug is way different than you or me, or a horse or a dog. So where do you draw the line? At things they make people eat on fear factor. I don't agree. So you don't want me to kill any living thing, even insects, cockroaches, anything. That's right. Fine. From now on, I will never, ever kill another water bug or cockroach again. Promise? Promise. I gotta go to work. It's eight o'clock. I'm glad you're home. Oh, me too, baby. See. Yeah, I was doing pretty good, but uh, may I? Yeah, up you go. Thanks. I always made a pact with myself that if I topped 300, that I would get the surgery. I'm 307, and I made the consultation appointment. I'm going today. I know I've said that before, but this time... You helped me so much. Thank you. Really. Yeah, because when I think of you, it makes me so sick that I vomit. And it helps me stay under my goal weight. Thank you.
I'm Adam, bulimic. Nothing really to report, still abstinent. It's been 24 days now. You helped me so much, thank you, really. Yeah, because when I think of you, I'm inspired to work out and eat well so that I too can have the rippled, fancy, black man body. Thank you. Sam, anorexic, compulsive overeater. It's not, it's not okay. okay. I've decided to become vegan. I've completely given up Nemo's. It's been two days. I feel amazing. And I'm just really excited about my new eating plan. You don't help me. You never have. Even if God came down and said, Kevin, I've turned Sam into your favorite binge food, peanut butter on saltines, and demanded that I eat you, I'd say, God, I'm sorry, but the only way I could do that would be if I were bulimic and could throw him up and flush him down the toilet afterwards. But I'm only anorexic and abhor vomiting. So send me to hell, I guess. Thank you. I love you. What's with thank you, I love you? Gotta have a more positive attitude, that's all. Does Shanti have anything to do with this positive new attitude? Along with eating cabbage from your pocket? Lettuce. Jealous? I'm gonna hang with my woman at night. I'll catch you guys later. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Hang it work okay? Yeah, it's great. I'm meeting Allison at the gym tonight. You wanna come? Who's Allison? Cancer girl. Oh, oh Allison? Jealous? Bobby, I'm deeply in love with you. You know that. You're a sexy man. Oh, my God. Thank you. I love you. Excuse me? I said, thank you. I love you. Why'd you say that? OK, come on, Sam. Time for a run. No, no, Billy. It's fine. It's what I say to people now who I resent instead of something mean. Do I know you? No. Six years ago, you wanted to use a treadmill that I was using for my stuff because I, I just kind of like to have a lot of space around me when I work out. I see. You just like to passive aggressively try to dissuade people from using the equipment they paid for. I could see how someone might take it that way. But really, what I just want to do is I want to apologize for resenting you all this time and say that I recognize you as my teacher. So what do you want? A gold star? Maybe. Maybe. That, that's, a, that's a good idea. Though I don't want to put you out any more than I already have. So maybe, as a peace offering instead, I could give you a big old bitch ice cream cone. Do you like sprinkles? We could put a lot of bitch sprinkles all over it. Actually, we're in a healthy environment here, so maybe you do better with a big old bitch smoothie. How about that? You know, I would love a bitch smoothie. That sounds really good. Allison, hi. Hi. Okay. Well, off we all go. Enjoy your workout. Okay? Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. So, um, your charity thing. It, it's done. That was a complete lie. Okay, and I'm really terribly sorry that I said to you what had happened is I had accidentally snipped a small chunk of my scrotal sack off when I was trying to groom okay, my personal hair. She doesn't hair. need to hear that. Really, I need to say it. Well, that may be true, but she doesn't need to hear it. OK, well, I think she does. Disregarded my doctor's warning not to work out. As a result, my testicles ballooned, I kid you not, literally the size of grapefruits, which is why I was in the wheelchair. It had nothing to do with charity. That was disgusting what I did. I'm really sorry. I swear to God. And I want to finish this conversation because I'm really enjoying you right now. But I'm late for yoga, so I got to go. OK? okay. Hey. So forgive me for talking and running. And know that I say thank you. I love you. We'll admit you tonight. Please don't eat or drink anything after eight. OK. OK. I read that if after I get the operation I were to eat too much, it might cause my newly shrunken stomach to overexpand, forcing the staples to fly out cutting my stomach lining and I could bleed out internally without ever knowing it and die. Is that true? It is not, to our knowledge, a possibility. If I were to eat, let's say for the sake of argument, uh, 60 pancakes, I've heard that that could act like a paste in the stomach and, and cause the newly created smaller opening to get clogged without me realizing it and sort of back up everything. And I don't mean to be indelicate, but causing me to choke on my own trapped feces. Is that true? No possible way. OK. Great. Um, I think that's it, then. I'm sorry. One last one. Is it true that one in every 200 people die from the operation? Yes. But the other 199 live fuller, more happy lives as non-fat people. 
Thank you. Can I meet your parents? Excuse me? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but it's, it has nothing to do with you. It's just very complicated. Look, everyone has complicated relationships with their parents. I mean, my father shot my mother and then hung himself. Really? No. No, but you know what I'm saying. You look both ways and you cross the street. Thanks for class, Shanti. You have such a beautiful practice. Yeah, really, very beautiful practice. Very good for you. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, bro broccoli stocks, yum. I think I saw the ass of a dead pig out there. We could just wheel that baby and you could just gnaw on that if you prefer. That would be delicious, thank you. My friend Shanti is my good friend Billy and her friend Allison. Hi. Hi, sorry. I don't really eat raw pig ass. So, we double dating tonight? You know, as fun as that sounds, last no. Because Allison and I are going to my parents' house for dinner tonight. Really? You kids are on the fast track, huh? I mean, I've been best friends with Billy for 10 years, and she's yet to introduce me to her phantom secret parents. But hot new girlfriend Allison, what the hell, right? You're not worried at all about freaking the poor girl out? I mean, bringing her over to meet your family after what, like a day and a half y'all been dating? I don't know. I'm kind of scared to risk that with someone that I really like, but what the hell? Hey, Mom. Listen, I have a girl I want you to meet. I'm going to bring her over for dinner tonight, OK? No, no, Mom, it really has to be tonight. Well, can't you just change your plan? It doesn't matter what you cook. Anything you want to cook is fine, but we're vegan. I got to go. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay, bye. Hi, honey. Hi. We're a new batch. Mm. You want to try? Mm-hmm. Check. They're hot. They're hot. Mm. Wow. Right? You're getting good. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm. How into you am I? Mm-hmm. I need to take you right here against this counter while I eat these cakes. Mm. Yeah, you like that? You want that? Right up against the counter? Right over your little vegan cake mix? <clears throat> yeah. Uh -huh. I have a little surprise for you tonight. What's that? I'm gonna take you to meet my mother. Oh, I don't know how I feel about a man who can say the M word while he's inside me. Uh. <sighs> Why are two water bug legs stuck to the wall? I swear to God, I'm gonna stick your legs to the wall if you don't shut it, woman. No, I'm serious. Stop. <sighs> Did you kill a water bug? Of course not, honey. Honey, I told you I promised I wouldn't and I didn't. Honey, it's the opposite. I saved a water bug's life today. I, I trapped it and I set, I set it free back to the wild. I mean, you know, it, maybe a couple of its Legs got, got shed during the very humane capture. I mean, like a caterpillar or something. It's what they do. I'm sure they've grown back already. What did you do after you captured them? I let him fly to freedom out the window. He, like a bird, it was like an eagle. Back to, to his family in the Bronx. They can't fly. Everybody knows water bugs can fly. OK, they can definitely fly. He's fine. Trust me, he's fine. We bow down to the teachers who came before us. Om Balo Shri Satguru Bhagavanaki. How you say Jai? Jai. That was nice. Yeah, well, nice isn't gonna cut it. You wanna change your karma, you have to find another bug who's sick and suffering and nurse it back to health. Raising it as you would your own son. Sam, I'm just gonna take you to the things. No, Abner, no. Stop barking. Sam, 
I, I spent the whole day making you a cheese platter. Lots of different kinds of cheeses and crudite for your diet. Thanks, Mom. I can't have cheese, but we can have the crudite. Sam, you want some cake? Um, uh, oh, wait, is cake on your diet? No, 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 only special cake. But Shanti taught me how to make. I don't eat regular cake anymore. Okay. It's so good to see you. You know, I used to be his AA sponsor, Shanti. I hope that you think that you're your stepfather now, because I, I'm always there for you. I love you like a son. How's it going? Well, actually, I've been feeling pretty. Oh, good. the show's starting. I need the show starting. Can you just make the dog stop barking, please? It's fine. Just stop barking. I'm so happy to have my two favorite men next to me. The man who's the greatest son in the world, and the man who gives me the greatest head in the world. Oh, mom! Mom, why do you Watch say that? No, no, mom! Don't do that! Don't! Don't! Because we don't work vegan, we don't hurt any living animal, human, or anything. But it's half dead now. I might as well just finish him off. No, no, mom! Mom! No, please! This is instant karma. This is awesome, Sam. What? Take care of him. Oh, please, you weren't, you weren't being serious. It is half dead. This is Maybe you better just finish it off. This is an opportunity for you. John. Do you want some wine, Don? Mm. No, thank you. So, Allison, what do you do? Oh, I'm in investment banking. Oh, how exciting. And are you 100% lesbian or bisexual? I'm only asking because Billy likes boys as well. Papa. Did you know that? No. Actually, I didn't know that. But no, I am 100% ladies' man. Does it concern you that Billy is just in a lesbian phase and that her real penchant is for penises? Charles! Like father, like daughter. Okay. Bye, Daddy. No, actually, it's, it's okay. I respect his candor. Billy's here with me now, and uh, if I have my way, I will be making love to her all night long. And if tomorrow she chooses to be with someone else, whether that's a man or a woman, I... Uh, Suppose I'll go to the movies, or go for a walk and look at the cherry blossoms, or get drunk with a subway musician and sing harmonies all night long and hope that she'll want to spend time with me again soon. But no, it won't have any effect on my fondness for her. How pathetic. <laughs> I mean, poetic. Hmm. You know, I'm sure that you have many talents, sir. But I'm sorry that your self-hatred weighs so heavily on you. And I hope that you can learn to let it go soon so you can start to enjoy everything this beautiful life has to offer. The most precious being your gorgeous daughter, who you are obviously so painfully cut off from. Give him some of your cake. I don't think it would be good for him. Lucky day, bro. I thought you said these cakes were fat free. Pretty much. Yeah, well, I just gained three pounds. Well, they still have calories. I mean, if you ate a ton of them. How many did you eat? Not that many.
Thank you. I love you. Pick up, it's Sam. Listen, I need to come over and kill all and every cockroach that exists in your house, okay? I'm nearly done annihilating all the ones here, and my bloodlust is not nearly satiated. If you have any affection for me at all, you will grant me this gift. Call me back. Nothing! Nothing, honey, I'm just getting some water. Are you thirsty? How's he doing? Not so good. Don't worry, sweetie. He's gonna get better. I'm so proud of you, Sam. I think you deserve a little reward for all your good deeds. Do you want me to come with you? I'm fine. Oh, Bye, baby. I love you. I love you too. You'll be fine. Oh, Shreemathre. Jam big Ari. Jaya Shama. Ari. Dan Roundtree, I'm here for my gastric bypass surgery. Got out of breath here. I need a doctor stat at emergency front desk. I need a doctor. He's in cardiac arrest. I need a crash cart. Yeah, Shama.